weather forecast. Well, good morning. It is a cold and a windy start to our Monday, and that wind is going to hang with us right through this afternoon. So be ready to bundle up if you're headed out the door, not just this morning, but pretty much through the rest of our day today. It is going to get a little warmer through this week, but we do have a couple of storm systems to get through first, and we'll talk about that in just a minute. But Wilkesbury and Scranton 22 this morning. Mount Pocono, we're stepping out the door to 16. Pottsville at 24. Hazleton 21. And Sealands Grove coming in at 24. The wind right now is at a good 10 to 20 miles per hour. It's not quite as gusty as what we were seeing this time yesterday, but it's still going to be a breezy day today. We're not completely losing that wind this afternoon. It will be overnight tonight when things really begin to back off, but we are going to get to see some pretty decent sunshine today. We're going to have a good amount of clearing, but our eyes are shifting to the west to this storm system that's back in the Midwest right now. That will be pushing in late tonight, really going into tomorrow afternoon. That's set to bring us a few rain showers, but even a little snow that will try to mix in to one or two spots, but that's still a good 24 hours from now. The next 12 hours, we're going to make it back to the lower and the mid 30s today. At best, we get to the upper 30s this afternoon. The average high for this time of year is right around the mid 40s, so we are below average. It feels like that 60, 70 from last week is so far away. We're not getting back there this week, but we do have a nice warm up coming as we get to the end of the week. The next 12 hours, the wind is at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Occasionally, that is gusting up and around 20 miles per hour. Not as gusty as what we saw yesterday, but the wind is still a pretty good factor. The good news is we'll have plenty of sunshine to go around today, so that's going to make it a very nice afternoon if you do want to get outside, but just make sure you have a couple of extra layers ready to go. Then overnight tonight, the clouds will gradually begin to increase. It's really by tomorrow morning where we are mostly cloudy, but the morning is staying quiet and the first part of our day tomorrow should actually stay pretty quiet. The air is not going to be moist enough to actually get any showers to develop. But as we go later into the afternoon and closer to the evening, now we start to see some scattered showers work their way in both of the rain and snow variety. I wouldn't even rule out maybe even a slight wintry or icy mix in one or two spots through tomorrow night. So that is something we'll be watching. It's not going to cause us any major problems, but in some of the higher elevations, maybe just some minor snow accumulation out of this. 36 for the high today in your eyewitness weather forecast under a mostly sunny sky, and it is still breezy. Wind at 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusting up and around 20. Now the sunrise isn't until after 7 o'clock, but it's also not setting until after 7 o'clock this evening. We're down to 20 for the overnight low. Under a partly cloudy sky, it is cold and less windy as we go through the overnight. Tomorrow, we start dry. As we go later into the day, we'll want to watch for some of those showers. Rain, snow, shower, maybe even a pocket of freezing rain overnight. Wednesday, that will taper off. For St. Patrick's Day, we'll end up near 50. Just have a tough time with the cloud cover. Thursday, looking for some more rain to move in. We'll end up right around 50. That rain should move in in the afternoon. Continue overnight, then taper off by Friday morning. Friday afternoon, while chilly, will dry out and even try to get some sunshine back. And then spring starts on Saturday, just after around 5 a.m. We'll make it near 50. Good sunshine for Saturday. Sunday back to the lower 50s, and we keep the sun, so that first weekend of